Community and parish leaders all over Southeast Louisiana have been bracing for the unknown and some are breathing a sigh of relief while others are still on guard. As Mike McDaniel explains, water and helping our neighbors are a big part of that response. It won't be a direct hit, but Southeast Louisiana is being as proactive as possible as Hurricane Laura makes landfall. Storm surge and flooding are the concerns for coastal parishes. It's far enough west that we're going we, we to get we're going to get some of the elements in Terrebonne Parish. 15 of the levee district's 16 floodgate controls are closed and some roads outside the levee are underwater. We're expecting five to seven feet of water. The wind right now is coming out of the east southeast. In Lower Lafouche Parish, the main economic highway, LA-1, is underwater and the floodgate in Golden Meadow is locked. We started to see these feeder mains blowing and drop some heavy rain in some parts of the parish from, from here actually all the way to Thibodeau. For areas outside of high storm surge, they're preparing to help folks in southwest Louisiana. Fifteen deputies from the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Office will leave Thursday morning with resources like boats, trucks, chainsaws and life jackets. They'll be joined by about 40 deputies from Jefferson Parish and members from the New Orleans Swiftwater Rescue Team. We will be ready to assist our neighbors to the west uh, with rescues, incident management, or however we can help. New Orleans as as Emergency Preparedness Director Colin Arnold says state. the city's 911 center is also sending dispatchers to Baton Rouge. With concerns about flooding in New Orleans, Arnold says his office will be staffed until the threat is over. My biggest concern now would be um, both tonight uh, and really into tomorrow when you have that eastern and southeastern bands coming through after the storm has passed us. Meanwhile, the evacuees are seeking shelter in hotels around the New Orleans area. And there's, there's no reason to stay. Organized by the state as a way to find places for people to stay during the COVID pandemic. And this is all over the state, not just New Orleans. From the cities to the bayous, time to prepare is up as folks now brace for what's to come. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. And don't forget, you can get the latest by texting the word STORM to 504-529-4444. We'll send you a link to our website where you can get all the latest information. Again, just text the word STORM to 529-4444.